Hi guys, welcome to Learn Week. My name is Rimi Gandhi and I will be your instructor for this class. So let's look at agenda. Today we are going to discuss about a very popular topic in Java called inheritance. Next we'll discuss types of inheritance and how to achieve inheritance in Java. Okay, so what is inheritance? Now, in simple English terms, what inheritance means is acquiring something from ancestors, whether it be parents, grandparents, whatever you acquire from them is called inheritance. Say you acquire a trait from them. Say your eyes resemble the eyes of your mom. That is called inheritance. You got that from your parents. Okay. Java follows a similar concept. There will be a parent class and, and the child acquires something from parents and this is called inheritance. Pretty simple, right? Now let's dig down into the types of inheritance. There are four types of inheritance, single, multi-level, hierarchical and multiple inheritance. Next we'll look at single inheritance. So, in general terms, what does single inheritance means? Say, I have blue eyes and I got it from my mother because my mother had blue eyes, right? That is called inheritance. And what makes it single inheritance? That two parties are involved. One is child and there is only one parent. So, there is one class which is subclass that is child class and there is one class that is parent class that is called super class. Okay. So a child inherits characteristics from its parents that is called single inheritance. A subclass in Java terms now this child class will be called as subclass and it inherits something from its parents. The parent class is called a superclass so the subclass inherits some characteristics some data members some variables some behavior some functionality from its parent class called superclass which is called single level inheritance so for example let's take a real world example okay parent will be a car class and child can be Lamborghini Maruti Okay, and any other car that you like, okay, any other car, any other car model. It can be Volkswagen, Maruti, etc. Okay, so now let's consider scenario. There is a super class called car. So what does a car have? Okay, car has four wheels, it has an engine, etc. Okay, these are its common characteristics. It has a mirror. Okay, uh, so so now let's consider: Will there be a car without four wheels? Ha! Huh, not possible, right? So that is what will be present in a uh, in a super class. The generalized characteristics which all other cars inherit. Okay, now consider: Will Volkswagen uh, run without four wheels? No, right? So that is what it inherits from its parent class, its super class called car class. Okay. Car class will have all the generalized things which all of the car models will inherit. And what will Lamborghini have? It will have its own characteristics. Like it will have a highest price among all the cars. Okay. And it will have a different brand. Okay. It will not be like Mar uh, Maruti Suzuki will be a general car, whereas Lamborghini will be for rich people. These are all its specialized characteristics of different car models. But whereas what are the generalized characteristics is that it will have four wheels. So such sort of generalized uh, things will be part of a super class or a parent class and those will actually be inherited by the child class or the car model classes because all of them will have those in common okay 
So this is what is inheritance. The child class takes some of its characteristics from parent class. And why it is called single inheritance? Because there are only two entities in one is child and one is parent. So when there is one to one, it is single inheritance. Now, let's look at another type that is multi-level inheritance. Okay. It is very similar to single level inheritance, but it is based on generations. Okay. Child, parent, grandparent. Okay. Now say, Let's take an example. Let's take, in fact, two examples. One will be of this child, parent, and grandparent, and one will be of our own cars. Okay. So now, let's see. Say our grandparent had blue colored eyes. That is what uh, this parent had. Okay, and that what uh, that is what came inside the child. Everybody got blue eyes because this grandparent got blue eyes. So it got inherited from grandparent to parent and because it is in parent, it is in the child also. So that is called multi-level inheritance because there are two levels, one and two, from grandparent to parent and parent to child. And there can be many more levels. Now let's consider another example of a car. Okay, say this is a car class which will have four wheels, an engine, all the generalized characteristics which will be part of grandparent. That is a super, super class. Now the super class, that is pen class, what will it have? It may have, say, sports car. What will all sports car have, okay? It will have some racer engine. Uh, it can have some high, it can have super high speeds. Okay, it can have some uh, uh, accidental protection covers and all the sports car. Okay, that is not part of other general cars which run on roads daily. Okay, so okay, this is a sports car which inherits all general characteristics, but it again has its own characteristics also and say a sports car any of the sports car it might have its own characteristics like it uh, it will have a different mileage it will have a different speed okay what are general characteristics of uh, sports car it will have high speed high mileage etc but the high speed and high mileage can vary from uh, car to car right so that will be specialized characteristics which a child class will have, which any of the sports model class will have. Okay, so when it is there are uh, there are two or more levels, it is called multi-level inheritance. Okay, let's move forward now. Hierarchical inheritance. Okay, whenever you see yourself in a situation of a tree structure. That is called hierarchical inheritance. Say a grandparent has two parents, has two children. Okay, in our case, there are two parents now, two parent classes. Grandparent has two child, two children. Okay, and those are known as parent classes. In turn, parent one has a child called John. Parent 2 has a child called Ben and parent 2 also again has a child called Lisa. Okay, so this is a tree structure. Now, what if a grandparent has blue eyes? Again, this parent also has got blue eyes and this parent also got blue eyes. Again, John also got blue eyes. Since parent 1 has blue eyes and Ben and Lisa got blue eyes because parent 2 has blue eyes okay so it all started from grandparent but since grandparent has two uh, two children which are called parent classes and in turn they have uh, three more children it got inherited from grandparent to parent and two children so when uh, 
so there are multiple entities involved here grandparent then parent one parent two john ben lisa okay so when there is a tree like structure here it is called hierarchical inheritance right next now we come to multiple inheritance okay what does multiple inheritance mean say there are, uh, there is a father class and there is a mother class and john takes characteristics from both father class and mother class okay say john has uh, hair like his father but eyes like his mother okay so that is called multiple inheritance but now java does not support multiple inheritance okay now what is the reason for that now consider a scenario when father has blue eyes and mother also has blue eyes okay will you know will you know that how john got blue eyes did he got it from his father or he got it from his mother no right so how will java compiler know how will java compiler know uh, whether a method was in father class or a method was in mother class right as simple as that so compiler gets stuck there he doesn't know which class it is okay so it can't choose it can't choose which class has that method both classes have that method so from where it got inherited it cannot choose so java does not support multiple inheritance because to solve the issues of where this inheritance came from okay so java does not support inheritance java supports single inheritance multi level inheritance and multi uh, and hierarchical inheritance it does not support multiple inheritance too because of the said reasons okay so now uh, any questions do reach me out at remi.h.kanthi@gmail.com and do like and share and subscribe to learn back if you like the content we will come up with more content more learning material as per your suggestions comments please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching